everyone, Jonathan Taylor here with the BIB Podcast, bringing you another video tip this week. In this week's video tip, I want to show you how to create your own custom uh, style drawings or graphics for VideoScribe. I know that's the one complaint that people have with VideoScribe is uh, they're kind of limited in the amount of graphics that they have. Um, but if you have any talent whatsoever, if you ha if you can scribble or draw uh, some simple figures, uh, it's pretty easy to create uh, your own programs and then import those into uh, the video scribe uh, program. Now, before we get into that, I want to show you this is like the latest version of video scribe, and they've come a long way in the last few months since I've done a video. Uh, on the original version, they've uh, updated it a number of times, and they've actually added, uh, if you go into the library, they've got uh, several folders, and they've added several graphics to a lot of these folders. Uh, in fact, they've added new ones like uh, even Stickman. You can uh, add some Stickman. Um, you can do uh, sketch characters, which these are kind of cool. Um, one feature I want to show real quick before I get into the custom drawing. If you go to, uh, say, we use a house just as an example. And here's one of the new features that I really like. If we go to the house, and I'll set this at 3.5. And let's see. I'm going to make this an outline. And then I'm going to set the camera so it doesn't expand while it's drawing. And then I'll hit the, the uh, play button. You see the standard, um, kind of the default uh, drawing of the, uh, of the hand. One of the new features that I like is you can change the hand and the pins. If I go up to here, I can, I've got a number of uh, different options now with the uh, latest updates that I can select from. So if I come over here. I'm going to select this solo pin, show you what that looks like. Really cool. So if I go over here and click play, you actually have a solo pin with no hand drawing, and I kind of like that. Um, I like that uh, kind of simple, uh, clean look where you don't have the hand, uh, the big, the arm in the way and everything like that. That's kind of... Um, that's kind of a cool feature to use on some of your videos. You've also got, um, here's one that I really like, the child marker. With the, it's like the child hand using a, uh, like a Crayola marker. There we go. And so you can see that uh, it looks really cool. To, uh, you've got the different formats. Um, others you can use, you come over here. And you have to make sure that you've got that drawing selected to, uh, to actually change uh, the one that you've currently used, but you can come over here. And I like this rollerball look, and then we click the play. So some different, some uh, new features on that for using, um, you know, different hands, different pen options. Uh, you can even use a, uh, you can even use a paintbrush uh, is one of the options in here. And so, uh, really cool. One of the things that uh, people sometimes want to do is they want to really create some of their custom, their own custom drawings. Uh, but it's not as easy importing like a PNG or a JPEG that you draw out on a program like Adobe Photoshop or something like that. You've got to have a program that um, converts over to SVG format. Uh, that's usually the only format. Uh, that works. Otherwise, it's the uh, the drawing doesn't look very good at all. And what you've got to do, the program that I use, and of course this is on a Mac, um, so with PC it's going to be a little bit different. But the program that I use is a program called iDraw. Uh, you can down, you can use it with Mac, or you can use it with an iPad. If you're not a Mac user but have an iPad, you can uh, download this app with the um, uh, with the uh, with an iPad and it's uh, right here that you can get it. It's a great uh, great little app. So if I come over here, I come back to the uh, eye draw and I select the uh, pencil, then I can start drawing out. Now I use I like to use uh, for any drawings that I do. I like to use a bamboo uh, a Wacom uh, bamboo uh, tablet. 
And uh, if you've never used one of these, these things are awesome um, because you, you can actually use a pen on the uh, on the tablet to create. I'm not having to use the mouse or anything like that. So as I move my hand, of course you can't see this, but as I move my hand, uh, I'm actually on this uh, on this pad here. So if I come over here, I'm actually using my tablet. I can uh, create a drawing and. Uh, Okay, so if I take that drawing, and uh, what I would need to do at that point, uh, if I want to take that drawing, if I wanted to export it or save it, I would need to, instead of saving it, I would need to export it, and I would need to select the SVG format. And then save. And I'm just going to label this uh, drawing. So now let's come back over to Video Scribe, and I'm actually going to delete the house. And I'm going to come back over here. Now, if I want to use my own custom drawings, I can go to Home, click on the Home, and then click on My Computer. And I'll click on the Desktop, and I will go to Drawing. And then you can resize this. Um, I can change the, uh, I'm going to change this to 3.5, and let's see, let's use the, uh, the uh, single pen option, and we'll set it for, set the camera for right there, that's the size that I want to have this picture drawn at. So we can do that. And then click play, and there we are. Um, so this is a great way to, uh, if you're using, if you want to create your own custom uh, graphics and you can sketch, then using iDraw is uh, is a great method for for doing that. Now you want to make sure, uh, again, you want to make sure that you export this in the SVG format. If I were to change this over to any other format, if I were to save this as a JPEG, uh, or let's just say I saved it as a PNG, and I were to save that, and uh, we'll just say, we'll call this one Drawing 2, and I were to go over back over to my video scribe, let's eliminate this one. Let's go back and click on the drawing too. You can see if you, yes, use image. Uh, now you can see the problem of what they're uh, having to do. The quality is not going to be the same as if you have it in SVG, um, standard vector graphics format. So if you click that, it's, uh, it's going to be very grainy. Um, the picture is going to be small. And when you click up, not only that, oops, and when you go to click it, it's not going to look very good when it's drawn out. It's, it's going to be dotty, uh, you know, lots of dots, and it's fuzzy. So you want to use, again, use the SVG format. And uh, again, it looks really nice when you use that. So your graphic, your images look, uh, again, just like they would if you had selected, or just like any of the ones that are selected from, uh, from the images inside your library. And I want to change this to, uh, we'll change it to the adult whiteboard. So another way to, uh, to utilize this program and really create your own custom drawings, again, the program is called that I use to draw out my custom graphics is uh, iDraw. And if you're a PC user, um, you're kind of out of luck. You, uh, they don't have iDraw for the PC, but an alternative to that would be 
something like Inkscape that I've looked up. Uh, I'm going to try to download this on my PC and try it out and see how well it works on the PC. But if you at least have an iPad, if you don't, uh, if you're a PC user and use an iPad, uh, you can download the app, the iDraw app, on the um, uh, again on the uh, on the iPad and use it there if you don't use a Mac. So that's our video tip this week. You can find more tips like this over at BIBpodcast.com. While you're there, you can subscribe to our weekly podcast and uh, listen to our latest show coming out, uh, or the latest podcast episode that comes out every week.